Hey everyone, it's Joey from Build Awesome Websites, and today I'm going to show you how to install a content management system such as WordPress or ModX or Joomla or Drupal or whatever you choose. Any content management system that runs on PHP with a MySQL database, you can install an Apache server on your own computer and run those content management systems on your computer so that you can do testing, develop your own themes, or try out some themes or make changes to your existing site. So I'm going to show you how to do all of those things right now. Let's do this. The first thing you're going to want to do is get a local environment set up on your computer. I recommend MAMP, which stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL, PHP, although it is now also available for Windows. So whether you have a Windows or a Mac, you can download this and it's a really easy way to set up a local testing environment on your own computer. I'm going to go ahead and get this set up right now so I'll click on download and I'm downloading the free version. I'll click on download. As soon as that's downloaded I'll come back here and we'll get this thing installed. Alright I have it downloaded here and I'm going to go ahead and double click on the package. and it's going to run me through the installation process. Now this might be slightly different if you're on a Windows machine, but it should still just basically walk you through the install process. And if you have any questions about installing or run into any issues, you should refer to the documentation on the website at mamp.info. Now that we have MAMP installed, let's go ahead and launch it. As you can see, a window pops up and there's a button right here that says start servers so let's go ahead and click on start servers I'm getting an error that says port 888 is used by some other software and I'm guessing that's because I had a previous version of map and I decided to download this new one for the purposes of this tutorial so let's go ahead and look at the preferences to see if we can change the port so go ahead and go over to ports and I'm gonna say 8889 for the Apache port and actually let's go to 9000 for the Apache port and we'll use 8889 um, or excuse me we'll use 9001 for our MySQL port and we'll click OK. Now let's go ahead and start servers. If this is your first time downloading MAMP, you won't have to change the ports, but just be aware that um, the default is 8888 for the Apache server. And what you'll notice when this uh, web browser page got uh, pulled up as soon as the servers were started, this is an actual website that's on my computer now, which is pretty cool. And if you take a look up at the address, um, the URL and the address bar up here it says localhost colon 9000 because I just set Apache to the port of 9000 so that's where my server now exists anything that comes after the localhost colon 9000 are actual folders that exist in um, the MAMP application in a folder called htdocs so let's go ahead and pull open the htdocs folder and I'll show you what I mean so this is the htdocs folder. As you can see, it's completely empty. That's because we haven't actually put any websites that we're going to host on our computer inside of this uh, folder. But once we do that, we can run any PHP scripts and we can connect to MySQL databases right here on our computer. So that means we can run WordPress, we can run ModX, we can run Drupal, Joomla, whatever content management system runs on PHP and MySQL. So we do want to install, just for this example, WordPress really quickly because I know it's a really popular content management system and a lot of people are interested in maybe uh, fooling around with themes or trying out new things, but they don't want to have it on their live site and that's completely understandable. So let's go ahead and download the latest version of WordPress. If you go to wordpress.org slash download, you should be able to do it. Here I'll just click on download WordPress. It's currently at version 4.1. 
and I just dragged it to my desktop and now I'm going to reopen my htdocs folder. And I'm going to go ahead and drag in the WordPress zip file right in there. The next thing I need to do is head back over to um, this browser page that gets prompted when you start MAMP up. And I need to go to the tools and click on PHP My Admin. PHP My Admin is a way to interact with the MySQL database and um, you can have as many databases as you'd like. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a new database for our WordPress installation. I'm just going to call the database WordPress and click on create. And that's all I needed to do in phpMyAdmin. And I'll explain a few other things regarding how to install uh, WordPress here in just a second. Now I'll go ahead and go back to the htdocs folder where I have my WordPress zip file and I'll just double click to extract it. So now I have a folder called WordPress inside of my htdocs which means that if I just type 9000 slash WordPress it should prompt me to install WordPress because by default if you haven't installed WordPress yet it will automatically prompt to the installation page. Or if you want to, you can go directly to the wp-admin and then set up config.php file to get everything started. I'll click continue. I'll say let's go. The database name is WordPress, so we'll keep that. For the username and password, by default, MAMP comes with a username and password of root and root. Now obviously this isn't a very secure username and password for a MySQL database, but because it's only on our own computer and isn't available uh, on a hosted server somewhere that's accessible by the internet, we don't really have to worry too much about security. We'll be creating a new database to inject um, our own database information when we uh, export this to a live site later, but for now this is just totally fine and we'll keep the host as localhost and the prefix as wp underscore and we'll click on submit and run the install. Now we can give our site a name and just run through the normal uh, manager stuff. So this is what is going to be used to log into our manager. Our username, our password, which we had to type twice, and our email, and for privacy, I'll just allow it to index. It doesn't really matter because it's only on our machine right now, but it'll be useful when we import this to a live site later. And I'll click on install. Now I'll click on login. And now we're logged into WordPress Manager just like you would if you did the one-click install that's available on like Bluehost or HostGator or whatever. Um, the same process, they automate a few steps a little differently, but essentially you went through the exact same process as you would on a hosting environment like that. So if I go to the site now, localhost port 9000 slash WordPress, you'll see that we have a fresh installation of WordPress. The active theme is the most recent one, which is 2015. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside of the styles.css file, or style.css. I'll just open this up really quick with Sublime Text. Let's change it to a real obnoxious red, just to get an idea of what you can start fooling around with if you want to get into learning CSS and things like that. and I'll click save and now you can see that the background is now red so what we've managed to do is we have a local environment set up on our computer we downloaded and installed WordPress and wired that up to an empty database 
and we have everything working and this is all just on our own machine. So we don't have to worry about the speed of things uploading and downloading to and from a site across the internet. If our internet happens to go down, we can still work on our site because this is all on our local machine. Um, if you want to download any new themes though through the dashboard, you will have to have an internet connection, so just keep that in mind. So there you go, that's how you get a local environment set up using MAMP, where you can download and install your content management systems and do some testing and development work on your own local machine. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Take care.